Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Stat and Talk. I'm Dana. Today, we're tackling a topic that could have serious implications for our health. We're going to be talking about a medication, and you probably won't ever hear this from a doctor, but it can save your life. Stick around because we got some crucial information backed by solid medical data that you need to know. And trust me, this is more eye-opening than finding out your favorite copy shop spelled your name right. Millions of people taking aspirin and blood thinners daily to prevent blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. But how much do you really know about these medicines? Let's break it down. Let's talk about how these drugs work. Blood thinners, including aspirins, don't actually thin your blood. Instead, they prevent blood clots from forming. Aspirin, for example, works by inhibiting platelets, the cells that clump together to form clots. It's like telling platelets to calm down and not party so hard in your body. Now, while these medicines can be life-saving, they also come with significant risk. Daily aspirin use, even at low dosages, can increase your risk of gastrointestinal bleeding and hemorrhotic, hemorrhotic, basically stroke that caused by bleeding in the brain. Sorry, I can't say the word, just can't do it. So it's a bit like inviting a vampire to a blood bank and things can get very messy. But it doesn't stop there. Combining aspirin with other non-steroidic and anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or naproxen can significantly increase your risk of stomach ulcers and other complications. If you're on an aspirin therapy, you need to be cautious about what other medicines you're taking. It is like mixing drinks at a party. Some combinations can lead to a disaster. Now, let's not forget about other blood thinners, such as warfarin and rivaroxaban. I could never, ever be a doctor. I could never be in the medical field because I can't ever prescribe medications. I might put you on something that is totally for hemorrhoids. Now, these medicines are crucial for people with conditions like AFib or those who have had a heart attack or stroke. However, they must be taken exactly as prescribed. Too little can be ineffective and too much can cause severe bleeding. It's a delicate balance with these thinners, like walking a tight rope over a pit of crocodiles. It's also important to know that while blood thinners greatly reduce the risk of blood clots, they don't eliminate it completely. Factors like underlying diseases, interactions with other medications, and even certain foods can affect how well these medications work. For instance, Foods high in vitamin K can interfere with warfarin. There we go. War far in. Everybody applaud. Thank you. Making it less effective. So eating a salad could be more complicated than you think. Who knew that leafy greens could be troublemakers? So what should you do? What is the solution? If you're on these medicines... What can you do? Well, here's some tips for you. Always take your medicine exactly as prescribed. I'm always going to say that. I am not a doctor. Your health your healthcare provider is a doctor for a reason. Discuss everything that you want to do on medical changes, including over-the-counter drugs, with your doctor. So that way, your doctor knows what you're taking to make sure there's not going to be any bad interactions. Be aware of signs of bleeding, complications such as unusual bruising, prolonged bleeding from cuts, dark stools. If you need surgery or dental work, inform your healthcare provider that you're 
on blood thinners. Limit alcohol consumption. I don't drink anyway. As it can increase the risk of stomach bleeding. When combined with aspirin or other blood thinners, it could be a very bad party. So, by staying informed and following guidelines, you can safety manage the use of aspirin and the blood thinners. I was on blood thinners for a year. Take a blood thinner, you know, an aspirin every once in a blue moon. But I keep them by the bed because it is a known fact that if you feel that you are going into cardiac arrest, four baby aspirin will go into my mouth immediately. So keep those baby aspirin by your bed because they could be a lifesaver. Now, as I said, remember to always consult your healthcare provider before making changes to any of this medication. And hey, if you ever wondered why your salad came with a side of medical advice, now you know. So remember, always consult with your doctor on any changes that you make, but know the importance of aspirin and blood thinners and know that they may not be working to the fullest ability of what they're supposed to. And let every other doctor know that you're on these if you're ever going to have anything done. I do thank you for tuning in. Now, if you have any comments and you want to share any helpful information, please comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm getting so close. And I love every one of my subscribers. I love everybody. that I love all of y'all. And the more... The more I can put together, the more tips I can put out there. If there's anything you want me to do a video on or you want me to do, please comment and ask, and I'll do the video on it. So I'll see you next time. This is Dana, and you're at Staten